EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears. Both of these teams about to reach the halfway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sale. over the end line. <laughs> on the carry, here's Marshawn Lynch. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. And they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete. It's Morgan. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. So that throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. They'll look to throw here. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Danny Trevathan, and he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Oh, he's going to take a shot. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half-field responsibility. Their job, stay as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, read the football, and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play, an interception. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field 
despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll drop the throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Looking to throw, sliding out of the pocket. That's caught by Treadwell. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and ten. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 24 yards. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes... You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Trubisky to throw on second. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Anthony Miller, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bears have taken the early lead. He adds the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Vikings. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it Punt's on the first better. drive. The punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Detroit! Detroit! They'll run it now, out of the gun. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And almost intercepted. 
He could have picked it. Maybe some space to go the other way. Instead, it's third down. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying, I'm open, but maybe didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive backs' hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over-anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. This is fielded at the 27. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first down, Trubisky. Over the middle, complete. That's Yates. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Now Trubisky lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Yates. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Let's go, let's go. Now Trubisky on third and long. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. A carry here for the big tight end. And he'll get this up only to about the 22. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Back to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. It'll be a three-yard game, and they're going to have a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Vikings on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. All right, now, look at 56. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. The Vikings send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. 
Now Trubisky to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Yates. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Oh, he and he fires one that's intercepted. Cyrus Jones picks it, and he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Here we go now. Blue lining. Blue lining. First down. Here's the run with Cook. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now let's go! He'll look to throw. And this one hold in by Rudolph. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Vikings on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They'll look to throw. Going up top. Shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they, when they talk about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown, and this one, they help force another incompletion. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. Got his hand complete over the middle. That's Burton. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. They go play action here on first down. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Give him 16 yards on the play. And that'll make it third and one. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup 
and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. A pickup of 11, and it moves the chains. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. Everson Griffin in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. On second down, here's Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Anthony Barr got a real education at UCLA in playing not just his normal position of stand-up outside linebacker, but down defensive end. So he had to incorporate a variety of moves, take on bigger people, so he learned great level. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Daniil Hunter in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Out of the gun, Trubisky. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on and it brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Morgan. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Soldier Field following this short break. down Lynch they'll lose a yard that time and that's going to lead to a third down I know when I was a kid I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs but the best backs that made it happen they put a foot in the ground and just go that didn't happen there that play got swallowed up these guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth barring a conversion here on third down they'll look to throw here and he's got Kyle Rudolph and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. 
Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's caught at the 25. And he takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. It's a big one there for the Vikings. 56 yards. First red zone chance now for the Vikings. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This will be caught just inside the 10. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. The line of scrimmage, the 7 now on second and goal. All right, here we go. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, he's been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They stopped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. The Vikings on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Here we go now. Now back to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Onto the field now come the Bears. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is keep your defense off the field. Mm -hmm. gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, uh -oh. you've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, you noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well Point done. A, B, and C. Lock in, lock in. Play action. Now Trubisky. Looking deep for Gabriel. And got his man complete. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Trubisky on first down. Completion left side to Miller. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. On second down, Trubisky. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. And it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Here's Trubisky. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And 
Uh, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. And we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. own end zone over the middle here to Rudolph so a touchdown apiece that's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room 7-7 seven, seven our score as we'll head down to Orlando that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report coach Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. This is taken near the 13. And some room to roll now. And he's going to take this all the way down inside the 40. But that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hey, 18, 18, 18. Behind, behind. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Over the middle complete, it's Yates. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Trubisky to Gabriel there for a Bears first down. First down, Trubisky. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Taylor Gabriel, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Bears are in for six. Parkey with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know what the half they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Green, 39! Green, 39! From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Three. 
A give. This is Cook. Cook stripped. The ball's out. But a Viking was able to corral this one, and Minnesota will keep possession. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like... It's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Hurry up, here we go. Back to throw here. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Morgan. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards through the air and a first down. They'll set up to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Looking to throw. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. Aaron Lynch in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. On play action, they'll throw. And the pressure gets to him again. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, there are silly, and that leads to a play action sack. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Bears' offense now heading back out onto the field, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now a play fake here on first down. On the move to his left. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now it's Trubisky. Room to run past midfield. And he comes back with one complete. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. Trubisky now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And they're going to get him. He's sacked. 
back around the 28. Daniil Hunter in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he's going to go down again. Emerson Griffin. He's the one to get him. And that's sack number seven for him on the year. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Trubisky will throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And this stadium is a buzz after that one. Understandably so. I cannot believe he hit that thing. And you can't help but think back to Tom Dempsey. And his record stood for, what, 43 years until Matt Prater broke it? And now here's a new record. And I'm with you. I cannot believe that ball went through the post. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Second and six, just inside the 30. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Lynch in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the return stops. 39-yard line. So cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. the 42 credit the tackle there to Aaron Lynch I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker and what that means is his ability to read react and make a play but on that one he looked like one of those guys Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hurry up, hurry up. Here we go. Back to throw now on first down. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Robert Ayers in there to sack him for a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. 
They'll drop the throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got to step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. And off comes to Cook. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. The quick slant caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Devin Funches, his second touchdown on the season. And the Vikings are able to make this a close game again. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Carlson now to kick this one away. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. Daniil Hunter in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now on the year. Let's go, let's so go. after the sack here, second and 14. Now it's Trubisky. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Now Trubisky on third and long. Flushed out right. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. yards on the punt just two on the return and the Vikings will take over here first and ten and the Vikings now heading on to the field and things are starting to move in the right direction they get the touchdown last drive then their defense gets them the football back yeah now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here and I'm eager to see how they decide to do it they want to be methodical or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now on the ground it's Cook and he'll get this one up to the 26 tackle made there by Frank Clark he continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can the last play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26 they'll look to throw here looks for Parker and it's intercepted picked off at the 38 and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36 yard line he was looking for Parker that time. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming out, and that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. They go play action here on first down. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he'll go down at the 28. 
A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky eluding the pressure right. But he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. He had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys did not play offense. Throwing here, Trubisky. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. Call it a gain of three. And it'll be fourth down. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down. So you got to think, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, got it. like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock, kept them short of the marker. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. This will be taken about the 12. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. They start the drive with Cook, and he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that here one. Here we go now. Three, 19. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. It's complete to Parker, left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. They run. Cook. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Position, couldn't hold on third down that would have been a tough catch but in this two-minute drill those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with yeah you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch you needed him to come up with that one because if he does it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill and he can't get a throw away 
away. He's taken down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Oh, Trubisky going to throw. Wide open receiver complete. That goes for a gain of 31. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Now it's Trubisky. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. Let's go. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He'll look to throw. And this will complete right side to Funches. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now let's go. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right. sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? What if one gets past the catcher? What if he uncorks a wild one and now you still have an opportunity? That's why they like to use him all the way through. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. You see it? You see it? Stop. I need it. Stop. Looky here, Trubisky wants to throw it. Flush to his right. And that is. 
is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Second and ten. It's Trubisky again. Open space inside the ten. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold.